Let's learn how to play a video URL in Flutter. First, let's start a new project. To use the Flutter video player dependency, you need to search for it. Once found, open the dependency and copy its code to install it. Next, open the pubspec.yaml file and paste the dependency code. After that, run the command pubget to install the dependency. If you're using an Android emulator, make sure to enable the required permissions in the manifest file. Open the Android manifest file and add the necessary permissions. If you're using an iPhone emulator, you don't need to modify the file. Now, let's create a new Dart file named Video Player Widget. In this file, create a stateful widget called Video Player Widget. Import the required material Dart package. Next, import the video player package. Declare a string variable called video URL that will hold the URL of the video. Pass this variable as a parameter in the widgets constructor. Create a video player controller variable to manage the playback. Declare a future variable named underscore initialize video player future of type future void. In the init state method, initialize the video player controller with the network URL provided. Call the initialize method on the video player controller and chain it with the then method. In the then method, define a callback function that will be executed when the initialization is complete. Inside the callback function, Perform the necessary operations, such as playing the video, setting it to loop, and updating the widget state. Dispose of the video player controller in the dispose method to release any resources. In the build method, return a future builder widget. This widget allows you to build your UI based on the state of a future. Set the future parameter of the future builder to underscore initialize video player future. In the builder callback function, check the connection state of the future. If the connection state is not done, Return a center widget with a circular progress indicator to show a loading spinner until the future is done. If it's done, return an aspect ratio widget with the video's aspect ratio and a video player widget using the video player controller. This will display the video player once it has been initialized. Remove the semicolon from here. It's a mistake. Finally, open the main.dart file and import the video player widget file.
Call the video player widget and pass the video URL as a parameter. Make sure to run the app to see the video player in action. Thank you for watching.